Hey guys, this is Second Gen Win. I got the latest update, the May 2021, for the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. As per the change log, the update brings improvement on camera performance and enhanced quick shoot. However, there is more, which Samsung didn't mention. This update fixed some of the most irritating issues, like the temperature rise while using the camera, and enhanced overall performance, which I'll talk about in just a sec. The Samsung Camera Manager on Korea Samsung members has given us further details about the update, with two times faster QR recognition, improved camera optimization when launching, and image quality. Now, let's focus on the camera. First up, the camera version has been upgraded to 11.0.02.96. After every update, I always recommend to clear all data from camera app for optimal performance. Just a side note, the launching apps and faster response is so much better than before. Also check out a short clip from Ice Universe after he updated to May 2021 update. This is the biggest improvement I have seen so far. Both ran at the same time and you can see despite the continuous zooming, the temperature on May update remained normal, while the previous update kept increasing to the point you couldn't hold the phone if you were planning to take few photos or videos. Changing between mods is so much better now compared to previous update. Awesome. One of the user claimed that when zooming, the transition between each lenses has improved. However, it doesn't seem like it did in my case. Let me know in the comment section if you notice any changes. The shutter lag has been improved, and it takes less time to process an image. Great stuff from Samsung. As per the Samsung camera manager, the QR scanner has indeed improved, and it is two times faster in recognizing. Before I benchmark, I always ensure to set to the highest settings at 120Hz, 1440p quality and toggling on enhanced processing. Both temperature before the test was 29 Celsius. Since both of them ran at different version of Anti-2, we will not be comparing it. However, it is left there as a reference. Before the benchmark for Geekbench, the temperature was at 32.7 Celsius. I may have gotten better result if I formatted the device, but nonetheless I'm satisfied with it. Now the 3D mark. Before the test, the temperature was at 30 Celsius. Now let's begin the test. The overall score is perfect, similar to previous updates. This is my battery life for the previous update, and it was the best. However, to gain 11 hours of screen on time, I had to use power saving with 60Hz. However, if I want to use 120Hz, then I would get 9-10 to 10 hours, which is still good, but I prefer getting that extra hour of battery life. Anyways, if you guys want to see the battery life for the May update, then comment below and I will let you guys know. If you try to share a file, you will get to see an updated user interface, where all of the sharing options are at one place. You can either share using Samsung Link Sharing or Quick Share, otherwise Google Nearby. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, do comment below if you found any new feature or improvements. Subscribe and like if you haven't already, and stay tuned for more awesome videos. Signing out now, peace out.